I'm Christine Sullivan, and I'm an editor with World Book Encyclopedia. Diplodocus was an extremely long, slender, plant-eating dinosaur that lived about 150 million years ago in what is now the western United States. It belonged to a group of giant, plant-eating dinosaurs known as sauropods. These types of dinosaurs included some of the largest land animals that ever lived. Diplodocus was one of the most striking looking of the sauropods. It grew to about 90 feet or 27 meters long. It weighed about as much as a school bus. One kind of Diplodocus may have reached 115 feet or 35 meters in length. The neck of Diplodocus was more than one-fourth the length of its body and had 15 vertebrae or backbones. One of the most notable features of this dinosaur was its extremely long and slender tail. The tail had more than 80 vertebrae and stretched about 45 feet or 14 meters. About half the length of this entire giant animal was made up of its tail. This extremely long tail tapered down to a whip-like end. Paleontologists believe that Diplodocus held its tail horizontally, up off the ground. They believe this because paleontologists find many fossil trackways, that is, fossilized footprints from these giant dinosaurs. The trails of footprints do not show any sign of the tail being dragged on the ground behind these massive beasts. Surely the long tail must have had some function. There are a couple of possible explanations. Many paleontologists think it may have been used to defend the dinosaur from giant meat-eating dinosaurs such as Allosaurus, which lived in the same region. Diplodocus could have swung the tail like a whip to defend itself against attackers. Evidence for this ability comes from the structure of Diplodocus' tail. The bones of the tail nearest to the body have structures that provided for the attachment of the huge muscles. These powerful muscles may have allowed Diplodocus to swing its tail quickly. About halfway down, however, the bones of the tail change. The bones change into simple but robust bones with a distinctive backward hook. This extraordinary functional shape in the tail indicates these animals could move their tails in a side-sweeping motion similar to that seen in some living reptiles such as a monitor lizard or crocodile. Based on computer modeling of the Diplodocus tail, scientists think Diplodocus could snap the tip of its tail with the proportional impact of a gigantic whip. In fact, the tip of its tail in full swing may have gone faster than the speed of sound. The same thing happens when you crack a whip. The very tip of the whip exceeds the speed of sound. The loud snap is actually a small sonic boom created by the whip. The supersonic tail whip of Diplodocus would be a bone-crushing tool against predators. The tail may have even had spines which could slash an enemy with deadly accuracy. When the weight of its huge tail hits at breakneck speeds, there's going to be major damage to the predator's bones and blood vessels. This may have been more than enough to send a predator running. But not all scientists agree that Diplodocus used its tail as a whip to defend itself. They point out that the animal could easily have injured itself by whipping its tail in addition to its predator. They also argue that a fully grown Diplodocus was so large that no predator could manage a successful attack. In that case, Diplodocus would not have needed its tail for defense. But that does not mean the long tail of Diplodocus did not serve, serve some other function. Some scientists suggest the tail may have been used in reproductive display by males to attract mates. The sound generated by the whip crack would have been louder than a cannon and would certainly have gotten the attention of any others nearby. The long, thin tail of Diplodocus must have had a useful function but it may not be possible to determine what that function was. With fossils of dinosaurs, scientists can tell much about their anatomy. However, answering questions about their behavior is much more difficult. 
it is likely that paleontologists will come up with other explanations for why Diplodocus had such a long tail.